a temporal research facility in Small Park. I think the doctor is going to be very pleased. Oh, transmission incoming. Well, I'm gonna try to land this pod again. Close attention to this one. So exciting. I love new beginnings. Welcome back to the Monda Museo International Research Mission. I'm Elisabeth Lacroix. Lacroix. I hope you enjoyed your first dive into history. Now that you've proven your ability to withstand time travel, you will be stationed in Svalbard, Norway. Home to a trove of marine life that thrived as much as three... Rob? Rob? Rob, are you there? Doctor, how may we assist? It's Ali. He's called in sick again. God damn it, Ali. Just burnt out. We've been pushing the section leaders hard. But I still need his results. Could you take the cadet out to retrieve the data, please? Doctor, this cadet is still new. I worry that it... I know you worry, Rob. I still need you to do it. I can do it. Ah, an order. Very well. Well, what an excellent opportunity to advance, cadet. Yeah, How that sounds good. How long With the lag, we'll pick up coming back. I estimate a few weeks on your end. Good. Go now. Yes, doctor. Jeez, you're pushing me into it well, kind of cadet, fast, huh? It looks like we'll continue to work together closely. That's, My that's okay. My is Roberto, by the way. Hey, Roberto. Please, call me Rob. You might stick with Roberto. We can review Ali's, I mean, your first official mission brief when you're ready. I'm ready. The pod you're controlling has been designed to withstand the stresses of temporal relocation. And we're and off. Keep you safe from harm during your travels. Once docking is complete, the portal will transport us back to the specified time and location. So long. It is deemed most likely that we'll find our research subject. What are we looking for? Oop. Too far away. What's gonna happen? All systems are now online and operational. Wow, look at this place. For temporal relocation in three, two, one. Ooh, that looks kind of weird. Days are days are passing right now. Okay, are we there yet? Oh, we are. Uh, almost done. Okay, so oh, I forgot. To, okay, so we're in twenty thirty three, May. 21st Inky Blackness So Playing Time Machine PlayStation VR Some kind of time travel game Zero Alright now we're in 155 Let's million BC CE Oh we're changing Latin translation, more lizard. You'll see why. The Pliosaurus is one of the top predators of its time. We need more information about how it hunts. I strongly advise a cautious approach to avoid its powerful jaws. Teleportation complete. When you're ready, focus your view on the shutter controls. Oh, I'm ready. Temporal rotate me. Temporal rotation? Let's get started. Alright. Ali ran into trouble here. Pliosaurus thought his pod was prey. See how they patrol. Is he dead? You must avoid detection at all costs. Those boulders in the center seem like an ideal hiding place. Make your way there to confirm. Now 
we can continue our research without fear of attack. Tang the more aggressive one, so we can get a better idea of what we're dealing with here. Alright. Let's get a uh, thing out so we can see what we're looking. Alright, so there's some ichthyosaurs. Oh, we got one right above us. Is that the more aggressive one, though? It doesn't matter. It's going down. Nope, tag. No, definitely not the more aggressive. Okay. Let's look down this way. Ichthys. Ichthys. Got one. Long range tag. Hypothesis confirmed. It's definitely a Pliosaurus. Hmm. It is strange that two Pliosauruses would choose to stay mm, close, close bro. proximity to Coming each other. Coming close, bro. Most apex predators are notoriously territorial. Is Maybe it they... they share a hunting ground. Tag the other and see. Or some other kind of. Uh, oh Jesus Christ! Or some other kind of mutual interest that animals share. What am I doing? Tag the other one. Alright, don't hit the wall. The wall doesn't hurt me, I just don't want to hit it. I'm a good pilot. Boom. One of the Pliosauruses is male, and the other is female. Perhaps we found a meeting pair. If so, I would expect them to be on the hunt for additional food. One theory suggests they use their eyes as their primary method of tracking prey. An eye scan would seem like a logical place to begin. Our oh, there's one behind me. Alright. Making me scan their eyes and shit. Alright, I'm going to wait he gets close. Okay. Alright, let's get this done, Roberto. Come on. Jesus Christ. So big. Ah, the theory appears to be more <laughs> fun. Oh shit. The okay. eye of the Pliosaurus okay. is highly developed. Just gonna have to let no, him do his thing. Poorly in low light situations. Let's do our best to remain out of sight. Let's examine the anatomy of the female Pliosaurus. I think it's this if one. A mating pair. I expect her to be carrying several eggs. I have unlocked a new tool for the purpose. The echography scan. It will let us see a creature's internal systems in detail. Hurry. Use your echography scan to gain some insight. Oh, that's a baby right there. Extraordinary. The Pliosaurus is carrying a fetus, which means they give live birth. The doctor will want to see this. The pair is no doubt here hunting the smaller creatures I detected below. Let's head down to see what creatures the Pliosauruses find so appetizing. Probably could be these guys over Tag here. three, so that we can identify them with certainty. There's one. Got a whole batch load of them. Two. Three. Oh, I missed him. They are ophthalmosauruses. They seem to navigate quite easily, despite being so far down. Scan an ophthalmosaurus's eyes. Perhaps they are well adapted to see in dim light. I think it's that one, actually. Nope. According to my database, they have one of the largest eyes of any creature proportionally. And each eye contains a set of bones, the sclerotic ring. If we can determine how deep they can dive, it will give us a good idea of what <laughs> the bones are used to help maintain oh, the Oh, they just flew through eyes, each other. Or serve some other purpose. 
An echography scan of its lungs should give us a sense of how low they can go. How low can you go? Said how low can you go? According to my calculations, they should be capable of dives of over 20 minutes at depths of 500 meters due to the pressure at those depths. Deformation of the eye would be of great concern. The sclerotic ring must guard against it. Are the pliosauruses really hunting? The ophthalmosauruses? They seem unwilling to descend to this depth. Tag an ophthalmosaurus with a probe to force it to surface. I'm sure nothing bad will happen to him. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh God! I modified the probe to allow it to gather metabolic information from within the pliosaurus. We are lucky. The probe was not crushed when the pliosaurus ate the ophthalmosaurus. We may gather valuable metabolic data from the pliosaurus. Use an echography scan on the pliosaurus to locate the probe. I'll download what it recorded. The new data tells us Pliosaurus has a high metabolism and maintains a core temperature higher than oh, yeah, the surrounding water. This area is fascinating, but the data we've gathered must be uploaded and analyzed. Please scan the portal to initiate the transport sequence. All systems are now online and operational. Prepare for temporal relocation in three, two, two one. one. All right. Goodbye, 147 million BC. E. Everything's probably fine back at Earth, right? Or 2033. Sure, nothing bad's happened since then.